That ended a lot more abruptly than I was expecting it to. Alright. So. No Raz and Alien tonight. Y'all stuck with me. Y'all for being the, like, two bots that are in the channel. And myself. <clears throat> Got my delightful pickle beer here. Ready to... It is a green. Hmm. All right. <sighs> it goes down easier than I expected it to. Hey, what's going on, Gozilla? The old Gojira. How it goes, my friend? I'm very excited for my upcoming holiday break, just to be away from work for a little bit. It goes. Yeah, I know how that is. Strangely enough, literally no issues with the Streamlabs uh, tonight. Which makes me think it is solely a problem with Core Keeper. That's, that's weird. I don't know. I don't have an answer for that. <sighs> I'm really tired. What are you playing these days? Still Terrarara? The old Pokemon Shuffle? Pokemon Shuffle the same thing as Trazi? Or is it different? What's going on, Ponkle? Sorry y'all stuck with me tonight. Still Binding of Isaac. Shit, I still haven't gotten my fucking Kickstarter for the card game yet. They're supposed to do an expansion, and it's not out yet. It's a hard disappointment. They basically made a uh, munchkin with less bullshit. So. I didn't even see if that was the right save file. Oh well. We'll know in a minute. Been doing, you've been doing a lot of VOD clipping, and I feel like I need to compensate you in some way for that. <sighs> I meet up before Nishiki. Haruka <laughs> Go out and have fun for her sake. Ken's Labyrinth jump scared. <laughs> Ken's Labyrinth. Look at that doggy. Oh, is she coming with us? きっとこんな経験したことのある子他にいないよねキリュウさんお暇なんですかあ、I'm <laughs> Oh man, it's time. It's finally time we get to do it. Get to that lotto ticket seller. Keep the fuck up, Haruka. Yeah. 
Do I really need to beat the shit out of people in front of a kid? Alright, let's get to it. I am not familiar with Ken's Labyrinth, or is that code for a different game entirely? I saw you going very classic the other night playing some Lagoon. One of the few SNES games I actually have never played. I always remembered seeing it in fucking Nintendo Power, though. Let the kid join the fun. Uh, somebody did mod uh, Yakuza 5 that you could fight with Haruka. Using the built-in computer mic on- Oh, is that- yeah, that's why I was producing that weird echo effect, because that definitely happens, like, I sometimes won't notice when my Logitech mic is going, and it just sounds, yeah, super echoey like the- Oh, Wolf 3D clone? Gotcha. Beat it, thugs. We got a date with a lottery ticket seller. For the love of fuck, I'm walking with a little kid. Why would you think I'm an easy mark? From a combat perspective, this really is one of the most satisfying games ever to play. <laughs> Alright. Quiet, Haruka. Quiet. Alright, let's get to it. Nope. God damn it, I gotta kick the shit out of more people. God, why is Japan so violent? Quick work of that. Yes, dear. Wanna go do something? Need to buy a hundred. Awful lot of lottery tickets. <laughs> uh, me, Scubs, and Janitrol were just hanging out. We had just finished a board game night. And my phone buzzed. I saw you. I saw you playing, so we just jumped in. I love how the the secrets, the secret area is in front of the main streets, in front of the biggest building in this block. Oh, you know what I want to play. I'm here for one game. This is not it. It might start with an H. It might. It just might. Hatta 
一斉のいい子だチャオキッズ about to clean up はいりますさあ、たたたそうじゃねこれはチャオチョウハンコマ、そろいました。チョウブ、ピンゾロのチョウ。やるね。入ります。さあ、たたたんだ。チョウハン、チョウ。これは。長藩駒揃いました。勝負一二の藩。よし。やるまぜ。入ります。さあ、たたたんだろ。ちょ、ちょ、これは藩。And a girl, Haruka. She's a ringer. <laughs> now, someone's going to get pissed, probably. Now they're all going even. She's going to say odd. Yep. I'm gonna make the room mad and I'm gonna have to kick the shit out of people. Let's fucking go. Dude, you always bet odd in this game. Seven is the most likely set of numbers. You always pick odd. He's gonna pick even this time. Yep. There we go. Here's where someone gets mad at the little kid for being good. Choto, choose us as a data that came us. Sugu Modorimus. Yakshoda Neojisa. Naka Watashi Saino Arukamo. So the ne. Watashi no Kangi de Katta and the Karane. Nanika Ogoteo. いやお待たせしました年のせいか小便が近いもんでさあ続いてまいりましょう入ります勝負次はねはん See, now I'm gonna start losing because he's cheating. He went and he got a different set of dice. お座りいただきましょうか。お客さん。ま、うちだだだだ。気安く触るの。キリュウ。キリュウ just does not fuck around。何やってんだ。邪魔すんじゃねえよ。邪魔したな。間違いねえ。おじさん。おい、あれ。なんだおりゃ。ずいぶん変わったサイコロだな。イカ様じゃねえか。どうなってんだこれ。<笑>ふざけがって。おい、出てこい。イカ様だ。つまみだぜ。はい。はあ。Well。Time for Kiryu to do what he do. The weird spider die. <laughs> this is like. <laughs> this is like early '90s. So I'm pretty sure. Ooh, I didn't realize my health was so low. <laughs> I 
delicious barb. <laughs> delicious, that's right. <laughs> Excuse you. All right. Wow. All right. Huh. I think I'm gonna, gonna need to clear out some space here. That's better. Delicious sushi real quick. Nom nom nom. Jesus, all right. Please turn the di correct direct. Thanks. Thanks, Kiryu. <laughs> Arco's just standing there. <laughs> Just fucking standing there the whole time. Summer, you're a 
でもそれはお客人大変失礼いたしました手前ここの仕切りをやらせていただいておりますこの壺振りは流れ物でして徒歩知らぬこととはいえお詫びの言葉もございませんこの落とし前はきっちりつけさせていただきますので I mean how much more consequence does he need I've already beat the shit out of him 手前どもにお任せいただけませんでしょうかもちろんただでとは申しません俺たちも帰るとこだあとはあんたに任せるさご理解いただきありがとうございます今後ともごひいきに Oh I'm coming back soon Now that we've unlocked it, I'm gonna play a man's game. Thank you for the yen that I lost. Will do. But first things first. Oh, is this not where it is? This breaks my heart. I could have sworn this is where it was. Maybe it's not this game. Haruka, I need you to thank you. <clears throat> oh my god, what? Hi, Rena. There we go. Stream. We would play at expert level. Thank you very much. A full wager. Double for seven. Definitely viewing. Definitely junk mods. Seasons. Hand guide? The hand guide. We'll do it. <laughs> okay, one light on the board. Okay, I've got got the start of a board, dear butterfly. Damn it! <clears throat> one away from blue plot poetry ribbon. Need that ribbon. Okay, took my blue. Oh, oh, is that what that is? It's letting me know. Oh, that's just regular. Uh, I don't really have anything else. <laughs> See this Godzilla out of Hanafuda? It's really not that hard. Y'all, y'all like to get on my case about it. Oh, did I draw month? Okay. All right, here. Uh, the The simplest way I could I could go about it is you just need to know what the aces are, the lights. Once you go those, you could always just focus on trying to get those because those are the best paying hands. And you you the differences between the cards in the same suits. Well, they all have a different flower. There's 12 different flowers, so they all look alike. But like, you know, some of these spell them out. Get a bunch of red ribbons, get a bunch of blue ribbons. Get get the boar, deer, and butterfly. Like, that, those, that all spells itself out. You draw one, or you play one, you, you flip one. That's it. The whole game. This is an ace. 
this this turtle one on the right is an ace. And I have... So you always try to go for the aces, because that's the biggest scoring hand to start. Oh, you know what? I can't lose this, so I'm going to wait. Okay, see, now I'm going to end it because he took my... And then, if you call Koi Koi, you're basically saying, I can get another winning hand, before you can. So the boar and the deer are on the, on the table. I have an ace. But I don't really have... Alright, well, I'll take the boar. And there's the butterfly, so if I get that deer, I win. Or I have a winning hand. I have nothing out there. <coughs> so I throw one out, and I play one. I didn't have either of them. And I throw one out. And then I play one. Or flip one. Nah, he took my deer. So now, I should try to finish my hand of five animals. or seeds, as they are called. We're playing the card game. Well, I beat up a bunch of people already. But I unlocked this area, which means I have to play this game. Hanaf Koi Koi Hanafuda. The actual game for why Nintendo exists. Alright, that's two, two aces. One more gets me a winning hand. I got my bonus. Alright, so he played one, so now the moon is the only, only ace left that I can get. I will start working on a ribbon hand in case I don't get it. Is that all the season cards? I will call Koi because I'm one ribbon or I'm two ribbons away from Damn it! Alright, so I can't score on that. So I will continue to try to get my ribbons. Not good. All right, there's my last ribbon. Oh, so. So I had three winning hands. That wasn't too bad. All right. So moon, moon viewing on the table. I have an ace. There's two aces on the board. This is good. This is a good start. I don't want him to steal that from me. So now... I'm pretty confident. Well, he took that, but that's okay. I still need this. I can get the soccer. I'm in good position. Alright. Can't get the board deer butterfly yet. But I am on a season's hand. Okay. So now if that butterfly card comes out, I can win another one. So we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna go we're gonna go big balls here. And the problem is ugh, There's a card out that lets him take the butterfly as well. Okay. 
Okay. All right. I need that butterfly to come out. All right. It's going to come down to this this card. Nope. Alright, so I just threw away a bunch of points because I didn't get a winning hand. I got greedy. It happens sometimes. Okay, I have two aces. And the cards to pick them up on the table. Okay, he took one of them, but that means he can't take the other one. So we will start our ribbons hand. He took my viewing card. Which means I'm gonna stop him from picking up the Sakura. This is not a good hand. Okay, I need that card. Damn it! Call Koi Koi, you pussy. Do it. Do it. Do it! Yeah, suck it. Well, I mean, I gotta do something with it now. Okay. Going after seeds. Going after junk. Ooh! Okay. Alright, that puts me one ribbon away. Fuck! Bitch. Alright, he got some points. Alright, uh, boar, I have the butterfly. I very much would like to get that moon. Shit! Okay. That is not as good. Okay. That blocks that. And now he can't... <coughs> he can't win on the aces, because I have all of the other ones. <laughs> Happy Thursday, Raven. Oh, oh, I want those deer. I want them so bad. I want those deer so bad. Give me those deer. No deer. Poor deer butterfly. Come on. Fuck. <laughs> Shit. I'm not giving you the Sakura. Give me the deer! Mm, suck it, you get no koi koi. Fuck you, poor deer butterfly. Alright, we're in month eight, so we're in the back three of the game. Back four of the game. Alright. I've got two aces in the bonus. I've got a card to pick up another ace. And it, Okay, so I have... I have the cards to go five lights. Okay, so now I've taken- well, okay. So now I can't do five lights because he took one. I'm trying to simplify the terms to- to- to... Man, woman, person, camera. <laughs> I'm trying to simplify the terms to make the game more palatable instead of using their actual word, because it sounds even more confusing in that regard. But ref referring to the, the lights as aces, that, that helps, like, four aces and a joker. That, that, you know, that sort of helps layer the importance. Which I'm still in a good position, but I really need the Sakura flower. Oh shit, I have red ribbons too. Well, shit! If I get that Sakura, I'm fucking in the money here.
Come on, throw something I can use. Do not take this ribbon. Fuck! Piece of shit. Do not take this ribbon. Fuck. Well, he took my ribbon, so I can't... He's gonna, not gonna fucking pay off. Ugh, that hurts. Okay, I'm still ahead. Yeah, a little bit. That was not... some. Sometimes the hands giveth and taketh away. So I really, I really need them butterflies. I've got the boar and the deer, I just need the butterfly. Well, the butterfly is gone. Time to look for something else. Let's see. Um, I can still go five, five animals. Which is not as high a scoring hand, but it will win me. Or seeds, as they're called. Although I'm getting some shit draws here. Okay. Now he's one ribbon up. Fuck me sideways. Okay, I really want to steal this, but but. Okay, that's one I need. Alright, come on, give me either those birds or this boar. I got nothing. Okay. Not over yet. Steal, steal that so I can get the moon viewing in place. Pick the Sakura, that's fine. Working on ribbons, and I have... Alright, well, I can't go for red ribbons, but purple is still available. Fine. That, not so fine. Junk. Okay. Four ribbons. He's working on junk. Oh! Okay, that's five ribbons. And I'm working junk. Only one point. I don't want him to steal one of these hills. Do not... Do not... Call Koi! Call Koi! Call Koi! Yes! Bitch! Puts myself back in the lead. Well, I, know I was still in the lead, but... <clears throat> okay, two lights on the board. I have the pickups for most of them. He's making the play for Boar Deer Butterfly. blue ribbons, so I will take one of your blue ribbons. How do you like that? And your red ribbon. Okay, took one of my lights, that's fine. I am just waiting for that viewing card. Viewing card. 
me that viewing card. Come on, I need it. Or a ribbon. Shit! Call Koi, you pussy. Alright. I need either a seed or or <laughs> a seed to junk or a or or the viewing card. I get nothing. It's all right. It didn't get him the double bone modifier. All right, last hand. I just need to not lose. What would be the fastest route to a victory? Blue poetry ribbon seems to be viable. Also going five ribbons. Ribbon and seed. He's going junk. He can't win on junk. One pl poetry ribbon, one... Alright, well, I've just won the game. Oh, man, do I want to go for the glory? No, because I don't have a viewing. He took the he took the sun, the moon. On expert level. I love me some Hanafuda. What does four thousand get me in prizes? Ruby and a gold? Hmm. Close your heat to play more. Alright. I mean, money is money, but. Special device build and take surrounding enemies. With you when you get knocked down. That could be helpful in crowded situations, but I don't have enough for it. Makes you more patient while recovering health and standing still. Yeah, we'll go with the battle mail. Can't carry anymore. Oh, I must already have it. Oh, wait. No, I'm just holding too much shit. Hold on a second here. Get rid of this salt, because I can buy that anywhere. I need two blackjacks. And you. I mean, I can't care. Oh, wait. No, that's weapons. I don't need two sacrifice stones. And I don't need two stones of endearing. Oh yeah, only a thousand. Now, not worth it.
easy peasy. It's just that easy. I'm about to say, I just picked up more keys, didn't I? Oh, diamond plate. That's worth some monies. Alright, we'll go sell that shit at the pawn shop. I'll dump off a bunch in the box. And then I guess we'll go on with the story. If I'm going to truly fit into the, uh, the Razor Sunday theme. Begrudgingly go towards story. I would like to sell this diamond plate. No doubt sell for a small fortune. Sell for a profit. Which says to me, just sell them. I've never used that shit for actual, you know, equipment or whatever. Mm. Oh, fuck, I had a lucky Hanafuda card I could have used. How are we all doing tonight, people? <sighs> Get out my fucking way! Oh. Long night at work, just made dinner. Where where are we working these days? Are you are you back in uh what was it Georgia? Last I heard you were back with your 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 ma, I believe. Socks of fortune. Get a B Sue stock. Florida. Florida oh, even better. <laughs> uh I'm one short. Works totally remote though. Nice. Nice. So same, same, uh, what you call it? <coughs> same company? Oh, hey, guys. Did you need me to beat the shit out of you? Where's a bicycle when you need it? Good question. Although I'm running, I'm running... I see you with your dumb taser. I'm running rush style. How dare you? Good, good job. I have to buy more healing supplies, too. I forgot about that. Come along, Haruka. Alright, doctor's office is this way. Or pharmacist, I guess, not doctor's office. Which I guess is technically still... Is a pharmacy a doctor's office? No. Don't you need to have a medical degree to be a pharmacist, though? Delicious sushi set. 
Farm tech degree? Oh yeah, that's right. You they do have a separate thing for that. That's true, you don't get diagnosed there. I have gone to the Minute Clinic for a flu shot. I ran past it. You can. I need your finest toughness emperors. That was not what I wanted. It was the Stamina Royale I wanted. Yeah, some of those have pharmacies. I want to say my giant eagle had a pharmacy. I got mine at Walgreens. Item box. You. You. Oh, it does give their attack powers. Okay. Well, then you can go. God damn it, Ronan. <clears throat> I love the young people. They attack me on the street, and I tiger drop them to the gut or slam a bike over their head. I also have this small child roaming the streets with me as I do it. Maybe one day she can join me in the ass kicking. Oh, uh, nope. All we got was her learning to be a pop star. Dude, Ronan, Ronan does his own thing with the old man voice. It took Ronan no time at all to figure out how to properly use that shit. <laughs> also welcome. Um, okay, all of these are over a hundred. Oh, you're not. Uh, goodbye, go nope. I'll keep the stone just in case. I'll never use it. No. Need it. No. Need it. Sure. Sure. No. You know what? No. Because I'll just let the. I'll just let that go. Uh, yeah, no, I was talking about that earlier. Uh, in, in Yakuza 5, somebody modded it so uh, Haruka can use... Not Akiyama's moves. I think it's the baseball guy. I can't remember what his name is. The most inconsequential character to the entire Yakuza franchise. Okay, we've gotten our items, we've adjusted our weapons, we played some Hanafuda. Haven't had a dumb side quest to do, but... Hey guys. You seem like some gentlemen... ...who enjoy a fine bicycle. I don't know what that enunciation was, but we'll try that again. Nope, I didn't want that to happen. Dodge roll real quick. And bicycle. Oh, 
That man is dead, Kiryu. Time for a beer. Time to another time to enjoy another Wickles pickle beer. Delicious pickle beer. It is a sour beer. It's... I'm unsubscribing. <laughs> this one is quite literally almost a perfect blend of, like, Dilbrine and... and I haven't been parading it. I posted a picture. <laughs> also, <laughs> it's a perfect blend of pickle brine and, like, a light beer. I've had some that are more briny, which I personally like, but I can see why people wouldn't. Delicious. Kiryu, so so the time. Yeah. Ten years ago, to now, the Nishikiyama is different. <laughs> I mean, I've drunk. I'll drink actual brine out of a beer stein like this. I don't give a fuck. I love pickles. Dill or spicy. You can get that sweet bullshit out of here. Hmm. I'm one short. Um, I haven't gotten a chance to really sit down and watch the actual award show proper. I felt that it did exactly what I expected it to. They gave God of War as many awards as they could because it was the new flavor of the month. Um, at first, when, when the player's choice went to Genshin Impact instead of Elden Ring, I'm like, well, that's bullshit. But then I thought about it. I'm like, well, if it's a 100% player vote, then of course Genshin Impact's going to win because that's got a huge base in China and that's where all the fucking people are. So that made sense. Um, and then I, I absolutely said, Hey, you know what? That was a good speech. It was a good speech. He paid due where it belonged. 
And Elden Ring absolutely deserved Game of the Year. I had zero question about that. I mean, trotting out Al Pacino, who probably didn't have any idea where he was. That was, that was a little awkward. The date they dropped on Final Fantasy 16 surprised me. It did. It did force Valve to give away more Steam decks. So that man is the hero we all deserve. <laughs> that old man, Al Pacino. That old man, Al Pacino. <laughs> Because Tears of the King. Oh, is that the new Zelda? He he is he is getting up there. I'm not gonna say that that God of War wasn't undeserving of the awards that it won. I just personally don't think games that sh that come out that late in Q4 should be eligible for this year's award show. Just because we really haven't had time to sit and marinate on how good they were. You know, I hate it when, when things are just awarded for <laughs> Al Pacino. <laughs> mm. Oscars do that a lot. Yeah, I know. It's just, it doesn't feel right. I'm wondering if I'm wondering if Armored Core is going to be Mech Souls or is it going to be an actual Armored Core game? Because if it's Mech Souls, I might give it a try. I mean, I love me a Souls like. I played a little bit of the first one, but I had so many other things on my table, uh, on the plate at the time, I, like, I didn't buy it. And then when I went to play it, like, other stuff came out. So I have the first one on PS4, I think. I would like, and I think I have it on Epic as well, because uh, it was one of the freebies. I would like to play it. It seems like something I would like. The reviews seem pretty good. I saw that they, they did announce a second one. I would be interested. Uh, I didn't play either Surge game, but I should, because those are Platinum games. And I do love Platinum games. No Sky yourself. Yes. Yes, who needs a beatens now? I'm right here! Oh, this drunk guy. Sure. You can take suplex on this bike rack. Oh! That never gets any easier to watch. <laughs> uh, Mortal Shell, I never played. Um, I'm not sure if I got that one as a freebie. I had it on my list for like a long time, and then I finally took it off because I'm like, I'm never going to get to it. Are you finally looking forward at all to Sun Wukong? Uh, oh, I did see that. That one looked very cool. Yes, I was looking at that one. Yes, that one, that one did look pretty good. I have this beer because I know there's going to be some talk happening.
Reyna is, is a cutie. She was practically throwing herself at you, Nishki, you idiot. Don't I look evil with my hair slicked back? Yeah, because he took the f Yeah, because he took the I mean, Nishiki is a pretty justified villain. Like, you kind of can't blame him for going the route that he did. なにやってんだお前ら。すみません。このな、結局口を割りませんでした。誰が殺せと言った？ あとはきっちり片付けておきますから。10年間俺はユミの行方を追い続けた。ユミの妹がセレナで働いていると知り、俺はずっと彼女をマークしてたんだよ。いつかそこにユミが現れるんじゃないかってな。遥かのことも。それ
もう一度一緒にやりたかっただがもう今日限り兄弟じゃねえ Oh, there's a wreath. This is sort of a Christmas game, I guess. There you go. See, I'm keeping it on theme. Ah, natural, healthy soup. Oh, sorry, Reina. Looks like I'm gonna have to tear up your bar again. <laughs> Close quarters with a bunch of seats. Looks like we go in beast mode. Get up. Anytime you're ready, Kiryu. That's fine. Take your time. Never tire of this fucking franchise. Well, that man is dead. Hi, boys. Who is looking for a compound fracture? Koji Shindo, you bitch. Sushi break. Not who I wanted to grab. Oh, 
<laughs> Dude, this isn't one of those fights, Ronan. You know... Dude, you know Yakuza well enough to know that it's not a shirts off, shit serious fight. Only the important fights are shirts off, shit serious. I'm not gonna take the shirt off for some fucking shit, Lieutenant. He recovered in time. But he's not Nishki. Big distinction. Combo is getting frustrating. Heat, so I can't block that apparently. <laughs> what is this Eddie Gordo bullshit? did not do as much damage as I was hoping it was going to. Just sit there and get stun locked. That's fine. We're okay with that. <laughs> sure. Why we bought a bunch of cheap sushi! See, and then you just kind of get fucking stun locked into the combo. You just have to sit and wait it out. Big umbrella slap to end the fight. Sorry, parasol. Here you doing what he do. Mm -mm. 
Oh, we're saving. Am I safe in fantasy? Oh. You beautiful bastard. Tom, if you hang on to this win, you will make this very happy camper. そう、そう。初めからそう言えよ。ま、今日はでかい鳥立てが久々にできたんだ。組長さんあんたラッキーだぜ。ま、借金まみれでギャンブル狂いの医者にも感謝した方がいいな。医者でもあの野郎も急に
I've been playing on hard difficulty? Huh. <laughs> I had no idea. <laughs> Why am I playing on hard difficulty? That explains so much! <laughs> I had no idea I was playing on hard this whole time. It certainly explains why I've been losing so much health. Oh, man. You know what? <laughs> I think I think we need to take a break from all of the 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 hard pressed Yakuza action by first saving this chick first. I gotta I gotta I'll beat the shit out of these guys, but then I think we'll just play a a harmless arcade game with some children. <laughs> I'm not letting you swing that fucking knife at me. Or Tonto? Is it Danto or Tonto? What's the small the small It's Katana, Wakazashi, and and I think it's Tonto. Or Katana. Okay. You're not that defenseless if you have a stun gun, sweetheart. There were three of them, though. Well, this seems like a side quest. Oh, nope. Yeah, where's the arcade? Oh, I passed it. Sounds like a Sunday thing to do. Dude, every one of these Yakuza soundtracks have a fucking great set of tracks. Like, all of it, like, I won't say that, like, the whole OSTs are great. But every single one of them has a handful of tracks that are just fucking straight up bangers. Which is a term I've never particularly cared for, but whatever. For those of you who've been tuning in on Thursday, how are we feeling about Lisa? I mean, I know how Sniffles thinks about it. But is everyone else enjoying that game? Do we, should I see it through? Or should I see it through on stream more, more accurately? Because it's weird, but it's got just enough intrigue to keep me... Keep me on... I, you're good as in you're, you're, you're good for more, or you're, you're, you're... Like, I've seen enough Lisa. <laughs> Save the girl, save the world. I am a hero. I will battle with somebody. I would like a new opponent, please. Mm. Gotta finish Lisa. As long as there's love? Oh dear. Mm -hmm. It's far darker Undertale Earthbound. Kind of like the Halloween hack. You know, Sansa's Nest, that sort of thing. Do you even have a B card? Yeah, I do. Bitch. <laughs> the bees are the bees' knees. Damn it. I can't. I'm not playing on Steam, so I can't take a screenshot. Oh, wait. Hold on. That should work. Am I not liking it? I don't know how I feel about it. I like it. I mean, like, it's a game I would play, but when I stream, I like to, to have 
something some form of regular progress and 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 so I try not to play too many RPGs on stream just so I because you know I, I don't want to grind on stream and I don't want to do shit like that but like I'll make exceptions like Undertale is one of my favorite games of all time and I get really into doing the character voices and that sort of thing uh, Final Fantasy 10 is my favorite RPG of all time and it feels like that game is constantly throwing story at you so so it always feels like I'm progressing yeah, I'm probably going to do that, Godzilla. I'll probably grind a little bit now that I have a whole bunch of new characters to fiddle with. Ah, uh, good old Bug bo bug Beauties, Mesu. Never played, but seems like nasty curves, I don't know. Did I do the lightning dodge thing? Oh yes! If you want to get Lulu's Onion Knight, you've got to do all 200 lightning dodges. Hmm. Oh man, Giraffe Stag Beetle is, is boasting a 200. Oh man. Alright, all right, we gotta. Let's see. So, uh, her compatibilities are all, oh man, all front half. Mm. Win against a finish attack, move in mysterious ways to nullify finish. That doesn't really help me as much. Which appears to be her only real compatible move there. I'm not crazy about. Omni choke. That does seem pretty good. Yeah, we'll go with Omni choke. Heal. Oh, body slam. Only 20 technique. And I do have a 30. Yeah, I can handle this. Easy peasy. Let's go. All right, let's see what this kid's up to. Just some bugs wrestling. The music in that game is pretty good. Oh man, a wasp! Fucking paper wasp. Oh, you meant on this? What? It's just some bugs. You never seen two bugs fighting out in nature? And let's be honest, none of us like wasps. <laughs> it's just a bunch of kids playing this game. Oh shit. Fucking stag beat. Fucking... Wasps just ruining it for everybody. Yeah, eat it, wasp. Piece of shit. Oh, and you can't use it now! Oh, genius. Pa paper wasp was- Oh, fuck. Alright, they got me on that one. Curse you, wasp. You can't defeat the mighty giraffe stag beetle. In Yakuza games. <laughs> Shit! God damn it! Nerf. 
It's the opposite of how I play because when I play real rock, paper, scissors, I almost always throw paper. Go ahead. Use your stupid Romero special again. I dare you. You bitch! I'm gonna dance and I'm gonna punch you in the face. Fear the mighty giraffe stag beetle. A wholesome game for children. Horns feel no pain, so you gotta be tough and strong. Adults have to do this all the time. A wholesome game for children. First off, wasps aren't bees, they're assholes. <laughs> Suck it, Brett. <laughs> this, this, this 20 something Yakuza guy just beating the shit out of little kids in an arcade. Yeah, suck it, you little fucker. I could feel the intensity of your love for bees burst from your deck throat. <laughs> that is a sentence. Champagne of victory. Except for that really tall guy who beats the shit out of people with bikes. Wholesome game for children. I see, I see the shop. Or is this contextual? Ah oh, well, we'll move along. You clearly have a side quest, but do I really have the time? I like that play I like that game more than playing Outrun or Virtual Fighter or something. What? No. Oh god. Hey you. What? Yes. I am the dragon of Dojima. I mean, you do see these bike racks, her right? Cause your spine is about to meet them in a very, very intimate way. Man of my word. <laughs> Daddy. No. <laughs> you want to learn about organized crime from the guy who walks the streets stopping crime? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Kiryu, Kiryu watched the Yakuza orientation video in reverse. Fine, you give me my minion. Whatever that means. 
More importantly... I realized I've done multiple Yakuza streams without doing one very important thing first. And for all you meme lords, you know what it is. your face for this what <gasps> what do you mean <laughs> Hold, stupid. Sing it, everybody! Sorrow version. How many people caught that I snuck in me doing the 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 bad mocap Bakemi Tai in the Extra Life video? That Dan Vask metal cover is fantastic. I didn't do very good, but I was also fucking around. Did I miss that? Uh, you might have. I had a- I had a, uh, stream where I opened with the Extra Life recap video from the previous year. I'll timestamp it for you, hold on a sec here. It does make me laugh, cause- it, the, Every time I edit these videos, I'll, as long as it fucking takes me, I'm I'm just trying to get myself to laugh at, like, the entire time I fucking work on these things. So, of course, because I'm always putting in metal. I, like, a, a Yakuza song almost always appears in it. And I gotta watch it myself because it makes me fucking laugh. <laughs> yeah! What's but it's like I couldn't I couldn't fucking put that song in without <laughs> without because it's a long video obviously but I couldn't put that song in without putting in the meme I like I had to do it I would like to do Japanese style karaoke.
And if you are watching that video, it does appear again in the credits. Another beer, we have a lot of stream left. I am all out of pickle beer. May as well hit the phone club too. <laughs> Is that in this one? I thought I know that was in zero. I don't know if that was in this one. A good question. Mahjong, which I still don't understand. Batting, cabaret. Bowling, Pocket Stadium, Vincent is just billiard darts. Uh, Shogi, which I'm not smart enough for. Cabaret Club, Arcade Arcade, Karaoke. I mean, we do have the da we do we do have <laughs> <laughs> the most awkward dance club in 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 the Yakuza franchise. <laughs> That would give me time to, to make a bathroom break. I heard something about you guys needing to meet this bike rack. Well, do I have the- aw, oh, you sons of bitches. This is what you get for interrupting me. Oh, you aren't out of the woods either. And he never walked again. No, he did not! <laughs> Would you like it to? Sure. I'm happy to oblige. That that one's just as bad as as y Yakuza 4 where Akiyama takes someone by their shirt collar and fucking swings them around spine first into a flag into like a lamp post. That one always makes me cringe. No, palm reader. Oh, what do you want? Palmistry. Sure. <laughs> that is the appropriate reaction, Kiryu. <laughs> Just nope. I gotta go. These are the best games. Seriously, everyone should be fucking playing at least Yakuza Zero. Personally, I think 4 is the best, but that's me. You have a stubborn streak. Good for jerking off dudes. Wait, what? I'm sorry. Let's go deeper. I must see your palm in my pants. Wait, what? Sure, let's hear it. I'm gonna grab another beer. I 
I am out of pickle beer, so now we are switching to the Great Lakes Lemon Hyphenweiser. And no, I'm not going to clean out the mug that I was drinking in. So now we can have lemon beer with a hint taste of pickle. I mean, it's already a sour beer, so what's the difference? What I say. <laughs> Dude, you have got some serious neck going here. I mean, I have no room to talk, but... Only a mortal man of enlightenment. Some monks call me Madare Bakatsu. You can drop them barps in the chat. I'll get you started. Delicious barp. Hey. I believe that events are set in stone, certain things kind of... Eh, nope. I always believe you forge your own path in life. Because in truth, every encounter is that if I... Ah, that's true. <laughs> it's hysterical. I couldn't get people to stop putting in bits and subs, so I used that money to make fun emotes for people to use when they sub, and then people stopped subscribing. <laughs> you got channel points? Spend them channel points. You probably got like a billion, Godzilla. Or sorry, you drink tickets. I made it so you, so it's dirt cheap to unlock those things. Never. Oh, God damn it! You can use your drink tickets for a glass of water. Saving them for what? There's this you could leave a set. You put something I regret. Uh oh. What, like a, like a collab or a fucking reward incentive? Because, I mean, I already fucking hate the esteem boosters. Hey, Ronan, thank you very much. And so your happiness, top of the politicians, and stars. Yeah, this is a scam, Kiryu. <laughs> thank you, Ronan, I appreciate that. You didn't have to do that. Well, I dodged one bullet with extra life this year. It seems very unlikely that we'll hit the $5,000 mark. Yep, oh, you can hear the Christmas music in the background, which means this sucks. Somebody falling in love with you every day, oh my god. What is this quest? Let's fucking get on with it. That's kind of amazing. I don't want to say it because I don't want people to rally. Okay. So the plan was, if you were part of the Discord, I sort of talked about it. The plan was, if I raised $5,000, I would buy a walking treadmill, and I would walk Death Stranding. So I would buy the game... Uh, I would buy the game... I would... Um... Anytime, like, I would be able to sit here where I am now, and anytime that I had, like, conversations or menuing to do, I could sit here. But when the actual gameplay of the game started, I would hit my what was once my swing cam, and it would cut to the side of my room, where I would then have to walk... Pull, did Miles do something similar to that? I would have to walk... If I was playing any of the walking segments of the game, I would have to walk on the treadmill. And then I was also thinking about doing a channel reward, where I would have to put on a back, backpack that had my free weights in it, like, just to carry an extra, like, 50 pounds or whatever. The problem is I'm already heavy as fuck, 
So it's hard to find a treadmill that's weight cla like a walk treadmill that's classified for me without the the weights as it is. It, get motherfucker. It's a pretty original idea, I thought, and and god damn it. <laughs> Man, well, now, well, now I have no incentive to do it because it's been done before. I couldn't think of another streamer or anyone who did it. Oh my god, no, I'm not buying your fucking talisman. This is, this is the scam. No. Yeah. I really don't want it. I told you no. I'm gonna apparently have to break up this bar. <laughs> Pummel to see Kuza looking type walking on the shot right about now. Yeah. Oh, imagine that. This was a scam. <laughs> Even had the baby. Well, I mean. Way to piss all over the idea. I did like Miles. Miles was good. He was funny. No, I, I thought I came up with that idea on my own, but I mean, I, I, I obviously couldn't have been the other person the other person. I couldn't have obviously been the only person. But it's like, I, I couldn't think of another stream that did it, so I'm like, that seemed like something you can go viral for. And I mean, my fat ass needs to get in shape. I literally just blew through the text of this quest because I... <laughs> it's fine. I didn't need to know what it is. I am a failure at everything I do. Except drinking this beer. Good. And not only did someone do it, it's a Rooster Teeth, a former Rooster Teeth guy. Is he still former? I don't know. He's one of the writers of Ruby and one of the major voices. Uh. I did eventually tap out on Ruby. Yeah, like, you ever watch Barry's Kram Barry Kramer's, uh, How About This Game About Death Stranding? Like, I was right to not purchase it, but his explanation of, of the gameplay mechanics intrigued me enough to think, okay, I can maybe do something with this. All of them should be former at this point. Yeah, Rooster Teeth is really kind of a dumpster fire lately. Your smile, burger. All right, well... Alright, I've, I've got to piss like a racehorse, so we're going to fucking hope this doesn't trigger a quest. But I don't want to leave y'all with nothing. Oh, wait. This took me... This took me another, a, a different way entirely. It's always been, I mean, it always had kind of a frat boy culture to it, I get that, but when it was only like 10 or 15 people, you could overlook that shit, because it's a bunch of friends, like, I would easily get cancelled for the shit that I say with, with Scubs and Janitrol and the dudes we hang out with, you know, just hanging out, because, you know, we're fucking offensive, and, and that's the shit we do. But I have the wherewithal to A, not mean it, and B, also, not do it on stream, or try not to do it on stream. You know, that's part of the reason I love streaming with Alien and Horror, because they keep me with check on that front. Do I truly mean it? No, I try my hardest to be... Ah, Rooster Teeth. That's a name I haven't heard since the summer of 78. 
Nah, I've, I've, I mean, I try to be, you know, like, do I understand all of it? No. Do I have opinions on, 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 on what I think is too far? Yes. But as, as a, a cis white male, you know, people don't want my fucking opinion and nor should I try to give it. Also, you know, it's just like, you know, who does it hurt? Nobody. Like, it hurts Christians who have... Alright, it just cancelled BCC. That's fair. I've been telling you people you should stop watching me for a while now. But like, you know, alien and horror keep me in check. And when I have an earnest question about how, how I should be approaching something, you know, they're very good about kind of giving me direction on that front. You know, I tell my mom, like, you know... Canon mom, God bless her, you know, we, we have conversations occasionally. And when we were talking about Alien's recent procedure, because it came up because Alien loves to talk about body stuff, you know, they're just like, well, then how, like, you know, if they go by this and this, why is this? And I'm like, mom, it doesn't matter because it's none of our fucking business. Alien wants to be known by this. That's what we call them. That's just the end of the discussion. I understand what the doctor has to do, but it's none of our fucking business. <laughs> So, all right, I have to go pee. Let's hope we get a good seat. Don't stick us in the back. Don't you stick us in the back. All right, middle, middle of the road. Ooh, bunny outfit. Nice. All right, I want to go pee. You kids enjoy the show. I'll be right back. Alrighty. Oh, Godzilla, you sweet summer child. Oh, wait, hold on, we were done, sorry. I better get going. What, she was fully clothed? Ah, peeing. This truly is a great day for vegetables. Okay, where were we? Do we have time for another story quest? Do we have another story quest? No, we don't. Alright, well, let's keep walking around, I guess. Go bowling, maybe? I don't know. <laughs> so you could just clip the bunny dancing? Speaking of vegetable treats... Oh, 
I mean, I suppose I could look into making you an editor so you can make highlights. I'm gonna die. That couldn't have played out better. He showed up first and I could just harass him. Oh, the nefarious vegetable treats. I'm not saying we're playing that again anytime soon, but we might be playing that pretty soon. It might be the Cannon Man and Friends Holiday Special. to do here to what was the one game you played last year with Gary Busey as Santa Gary Busey as Santa what are you talking about pretty sure last year I played Bayonetta 3 and that was definitely not Gary Busey as Santa what what did I play Can you give me more? I'm, I'm... I'm totally pulling a blank. I thought I played Bayonetta last year. Bayonetta 2, but, but... Wait, what the hell? <sighs> it's been a long time since... We, I mean, it's been a couple of years since we did... Oh, Killing Floor 2! Yeah, we did do the Killing Floor 2. Yeah, there was some holiday-themed things in there. Shit! We could play Killing Floor 2 again. I do enjoy that game. That's another game I could probably gift you a copy of, because it's only like a dollar. Alien just pops in and is like, I want something to release my rage. I'm like, I've got the perfect game for that. Just mindless shooting zombies. Easy peasy. But yeah, no, that, that the Santa did for the Santa fucking... Where you had to, like, go with the, the Santa sleigh through the level. Yeah, no, that did sound like Gary Busey, now that I think about it. What's this? Bow ring? I do love a bow ring. Man, I haven't bowled in like 10 years and it's fucking killing me. What's going on, Lord Lambie? Welcome. About that time, don't want to work. And eh, we're only going for like another 15 minutes or so. What's the good word, Lambie? Welcome. I'm good, my slime. I am I am definitely slovenly today, I won't deny that. Two days off. When I have two days off, I try not to do anything. 
I do have like a week of a week of vacation coming up, so there'll be more lurk streams for those of you who are tuning into the lurk streams. Sixteen, because that's what I throw in real life. Okay, right, let's let's. Did you lurk? Oh yeah, that's right. Heavy ball fucking is fast. Now. Oh. Penis. That's going in the gutter. Oh no, I saved it. I didn't hit the pocket, but I saved it. I switched to using the blue snowball, which sounded a little better on the second lurk. Don't you laugh at me, you bitch. I'm gonna fucking whoop your ass in this game. We'll switch to the 10 pounder so I don't miss my spare. That's still going pretty fast. There we go. Perfect. Ezzy Pezzy. Mm. Oh, look at that. I picked up the spare, mm. bitch. Yeah, that's right. Roll your fucking head at me. Bitch, what are you giggling at me for? That was terrible. Oh god, ba blue baby runs are fucking nightmarish. Now to be fair, I got a day off. My mom said she dropped me at a college and currently face down and gotten. Oh man. <laughs> oh dear. Oh well, that's unfortunate. <laughs> Uh, I got a day off. My mom said she dropped me a college, and she's currently face down at God knows where. And oh, good lord, dude. Um. <laughs> As a dad who puts down vodka like I've never seen, I I can relate to an extent. Um. So you have my sympathies. Uh, is college in a place where you can easily Uber? Do you have a friend? Do you drive? It's like three in the morning. It's like three in the morning. That means it's got you. You're a fucking euro. Then you gotta be. Cause I'm East Coast, which means you've got to be across the pond. Also, what are you doing up? It is a school night, young man. Huh. Or ma'am. Fuck, missed the pocket again. God damn it. In the next town? Mm. Yeah, but the next town can be like five minutes away or like five miles away. There, There is a distinct difference. Also, don't they call it uni over there? I try to be inclusive. Yeah, let's steer that a little bit more to the right. Hmm. Kiryu's approach is terrible, by the way, as a bowler. Yo. Oh, we got both. What's the difference? Is our college and university different then? Sweetheart, you are just the worst bowler I've ever seen. You should be thanking your lucky stars you got five on that one. Do I want another beer? That's the important question. I'm 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 at least two and a half pints in. And the stream ends in ten minutes. She does laugh at me every time. Oh, she picked up the spare, I'll give her that. Alright. Has she broken a bumper? God wow, Godzilla. Come on now. Are you throwing an actual cinder block down the lane? Oh, that's bad. That's fine. I can fix this. About that hard. Get in that pocket! Shit! Alright, this one's a little harder to pick up. This shit would not be happening if I was actually bowling. Oh. Right. 
Bring that a little bit in. Perfect. Look at this champ. I know what I'm fucking doing. I get an extra throw for that. Suck a dick, bitch. All right, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna blast this shit right in the pocket, straight style. Oh, are you kidding me? What a terrible hit! No pin action. That does not happen on a 16-pound ball. On a 16-pound ball in the pocket, that shit fucking bursts. That is not appropriate pit action. <laughs> Homeboy, I am sitting on a 700 series plaque right there. I know what fucking pit action does. Just waiting for her to get back, and she'll ask me to go buy her some bottled water. Well, you should, I mean... Some bottled water probably isn't the worst idea. You know what she needs? A little bit of pickle juice. Get that elect- get the- get those, uh, electrolytes in the system. Like, ha have her drink, like... Like, half of a whiskey glass of pickle juice, and then the water. Suck down some water. Because that- the salt will retain the water, keep them the electrolytes in the system, and the water will rehydrate her. <laughs> Sweetheart, you rolled an 18 on, on six tries. That is, that is fucking abysmal. Got no pickle juice? Well, I mean, if she's sending you out to get a bottle of water, get bottles of water, you can grab a jar of pickles. I'm pretty sure they have those at corner stores. Or banana peppers? Pepperoncinis? That would also work. Anything in a brine. What am I supposed to do here, exactly? I guess we'll just do another side quest until fucking... Until the story prompts us back along. Uh, I have them, but everyone buys them, they're rare. Yeah, we're in the middle of a weird... Pandemic fucking lack of pickle. And it's... it it... it it breaks my soul in ways that I can't explain. Wait, is that the wrong thing? Our community. Hey, thank you very much for the follow. Appreciate that. Clink some glasses, people. You can give Lambie a clink. There we go. Ahem. Clink them glasses, people. Thank you. Gotta welcome our new our new follows. People to enjoy their time here. I know I'm not a good streamer, and I know I'm definitely not an attractive streamer, but I try to be at least welcoming and engaging. The thing is, I don't get I met one person that likes pickles, so going off percentages, 10 people in the cut. Wow! Really? Isn't that the country that fucking loves Branston pickle? I mean, I'm, I'm assuming you're British or English. I have no idea what country you're from. But. If you're 3 a.m., that's plus 5. That's definitely Euro time. You are? Okay. 
Well, welcome. Oh, which means you just got the shittiest time slot for me, because I stream regularly at like 7 and 7.30 EST. So I'm just getting started at midnight for you. So unless you keep late hours a lot... <laughs> future VOD watcher, I guess. I don't know. Well, I mean, I had an exclamation point in here. I Oh, I know what the exclamation point is. Oh, no, no, there we go. Yes. Find the platform. Oh. Platform? That's nostalgic. They were pretty trendy in the disco days. Oh, man. Yaka Zero. Sleep schedule is held up on tape anyway. <laughs> Man, do I know that feeling. Boy, do I know that feeling. 20 years old or so, regular pop and dance to my cares away. I remember dancing these gaudy tight dresses. Yeah, but they were so good. Men would hit on them relentlessly, everyone drank like fish. Ha ha! Ha! Yes, Godzilla, the master of odd hours. <laughs> Oh, Godzilla. I wish things got better for you. <laughs> I mean, you miss a lot of the awfulness of the day, I guess. Uh. Why so interested? Oh, a role for movie set, disco clubs, the bubble era, disco queen of love. I'm an aspiring actress. That I need to fix your sleep habits? Um... Let me think here. Well, first off, you gotta stop going to bed at 5 a.m. Uh, secondly... Valerian Root will help keep you asleep. No, sorry. Valerian Root will help you go to sleep. Melatonin will help keep you asleep. Believe me, as a guy who fucking lived with insomnia for like 30 years, I feel somewhat qualified to talk about this. But uh, Valerian Root will help you fall asleep. Melatonin will help keep you asleep. If you're looking for a cheaper, easier option, you can use Benadryl because it is the same chemical compound that goes into z and it's significantly cheaper. Although they say that you don't get as good quality of sleep when you use that. Um, chamomile tea, obviously, is what people say. 25, went to sleep for 25 hours. Dude, that's not falling asleep. That's a fucking coma. Yeah, I bet it was hell. Tried the Benadryl thing. Yeah, it's easy to grow a tolerance to it, so you don't want to do it too much, obviously. <laughs> or the, yeah, the, uh, it's a long fucking word. I can't think of what it is right now, but yeah. When I realized, because it was, that that's how I recognized it, because I was buying z which is like nine fucking dollars a bottle. And, and then, um, do you have apnea, Godzilla? Do you snore? Do you know if you snore? You don't, okay. Because that was my problem. And uh, it's still my problem, obviously. Like, the, my apnea would cause me to, to fucking stop breathing, which would give me anxiety attacks, which is what was keeping my insomnia so prevalent. <clears throat> so, once I've started sleeping on the CPAP, it certainly helped balance things a little bit. Living that era convincingly, I want to try to learn more about the bubble economy myself. Be dedicated. Time to yourself. That's... And I mean, that's fair. You've also kind of probably have developed a rhythm. You've probably developed a third shift rhythm. Hell, I did Benetril, and after a week I was eating it out. Oh, honestly, that is the exact analogy I've used, Lambie. Eating Benadryl like Pez. Yeah, at that point, your body has built a tolerance to it, and it doesn't affect you anymore. So you have to go off of it for a significant period of time for it to, to, to gain any effect again. I know, my dude. Yeah, the rhythm is the hardest part. You're gonna have to... You're gonna have to... 
I understand you want to keep your kind of alone time, but you're going to have to give that up if you're going to want to get back on a normal rhythm. Being six? Wait, what? Uh, hold on, Lambie. <laughs> That, that line threw me off a little bit. Thinking every few minutes, two weeks, I can fix it. Yeah, that's... that's... Oh, being 6'3". Oh, okay, that... <laughs> okay. That, that makes a lot more sense. I'm 6'2", so I get it. <laughs> but you're like, eh, being 6. <laughs> I was like, wait, hold on a second. A 6-year-old in college? That doesn't make a lick of sense. <laughs> Alright. Well, this is the last beer for the night. <laughs> I'm so fucking stupid. <laughs> Oh, dear. <clears throat> they could be a genius. If there's anything I've learned about the past eight years or so, there are no such thing as geniuses anymore. Sure, you're a pretty lady in a, in a sweater. I can make time for that. With one earring, apparently. Let's see. Oh. Did some weird stuff to hail a cab. Oh, I remember that one. Really? Cabs were pretty popular. People would stay out late partying and come back cabs back when they back home. Interesting. Like what? Like trying to remember what they did to hail cabs. Uh. I mean, this seems like the right answer. It could be this one. I mean, waving a dollar, they don't know it's a $10,000 bill, 10,000 yen bill. One or three, what are we thinking, people? One, one makes the most sense. Cause I don't care how drunk you are, you're 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 Kiryu did that. I almost guarantee it. He, I mean, Kiryu's done everything. He's the fucking man. <laughs> Kiryu would pick up the car to slam somebody with it. Kiryu gives zero fucks. Ran into the street makes the most sense to me. Cause I mean, guy fucking driving a car doesn't know what bill you're holding up. You can't see it from there. Gotta be body slamming. Okay. Do you said body slamming? Let's hear it. The body slam the cabs. What? Only oh, thing stop your heart, not the cab. Well, the time drivers could be really picked about who they picked up. If you want to ride, you had to get forceful. <laughs> Pulling my leg. What? Damn it. I was right. It was the first one. Could have just been me. Are you still alive? Oh. Uh. They would run out into the street. Uh. Really? It's the fucking third one? How would the- you're right! How would the cab driver have seen it? Yes. Back- Yes, Aya. Back in the long ago, people used paper for their money. We didn't have your fancy plastic cards or your phones. That's true. Uh, 
uh, relationships work. I'm sure dating was quite different. It was a lot more rapey. Like their girlfriend's place sounded pretty normal. Guys take girlfriend. Dating it. Guys drive them around. Most of the guys never past friends. Was the trouble driving when we ran even though they weren't together? Yeah, I I did that. For a girl who wasn't single. That's how fucking lame I am. Hit me in the feels. Man, right? Runner boys, doggy boys, no. Oh yeah, they did have a nickname. Uh, fun driving around. Told them to... Leg lads? Leg lads makes sense. Yeah, we call them incels today. Money they have, we weren't interested either. World War Two. Off the sides of VIP rooms. Basically, dance, drink, and party. Okay, well, that's not anything new. Close for one. Oh, yeah. The old mini dress. Honestly, fuck. Okay, so me and Fruit Snacks went to uh, RTX several years ago. And we went to the Alamo Draft House because they kept talking about it in the podcast. I think Chump is more accurate. Yeah, no. That word denotes an anger over feeling. Oh, that's true, I suppose. I think Chump is more... I mean, it could be both. Godzilla... Or, not Godzilla, sorry. Could be both sniffles. Um, so me and Fruit Snacks went to RTX, and they kept talking about the Alamo Draft House. And it was the 4th of July weekend, so we went to a Team America Scream Along, which was awesome. We had a good time. Um, we, and we, you know, a barren 6th Street in Austin, Texas. And then we go in, watch a movie, have a great time. We leave the movie... And the street is fucking packed. Because it's the entertainment district. When people are hanging out on the weekend, that's where they're at. They have to close the street. You can't drive through it. And literally, it was like a fucking Maxim cover shoot. Just tons of women in these fucking 80s style tight mini dresses. I felt fucking uncomfortable. I'm like, my fugly ass has no business being on this street, the cast of the Camarocho of Austin, pretty much, minus the hostess clubs. First date on my 17th birthday, and I just finished driving test, and I bought McDonald's for the girls, my 95 Honda Civic, and her boyfriend was there, fuck my life. Ouch! Yeah, that's, that's a rough first date, my friend. No, yeah, I walked out, and, like, the women there were just fucking too, like, my dumpy ass in my video game t-shirts. I had no business being in, in anywhere near that district. <laughs> Although I did go to Hoek's Death Metal Pizza, which was delicious, and they were playing fucking Cradle of Filth, which was good. Odd dresses and an item in their hand. Uh, they were, uh, no... Body con- what? I don't know what a body con dress is, but fan makes sense. Because women didn't just walk around in leotards. Although, that would be a wonderful thing. No, I'm kidding. Uh, Bodycon dress and a fan? Uh. That makes the most sense. Uh. Oh, body conscious, gotcha. My first car was a 95 Geo Prism, and holy fuck was that thing a piece of shit. But my parents' insurance salesman sold it to me for like 4,000 bucks. Just cash in hand. Easy peasy. First car. Had a whole bunch of ICP decals on the back window. Yeah, that fucker. The fly right. Oh, yes, the Geo Prism. Not even a good Geo. <laughs> that car was a piece of shit. But it got me to school and it got me to work.
th this side quest has taken so long because I'm paying more attention to my chat. There's a good Geo? Well, it's certainly not the Prism in Metro. I can say that much with certainty. Oh my god. Alright, so I gotta buy her- I gotta buy this chick sexy mini dresses. Well, I got so sidetracked! Civic, uh... This racer type back of a supermarket. Hey, my, my, my friend has a souped up Civic. Krielski, who, who sometimes appears in the chat. He hasn't shown up in a long minute, but... He, he bought, like, a souped-up save that that fucker can, can haul ass. <sighs> Alright. But with that, we have gone over our normal time. I mean, we've gone, we've gone significantly over what Raz goes. Sunday is not my usual day for our new follow. Uh, I'm picking up for a friend... Who, who usually streams, my, my co-host on Monday streams tonight with their, their, their sibling. Or rather, their sibling streams and they co-host. <clears throat> so I'm picking up the shift tonight because they did not stream. Um, but I stream regularly on Mondays, tomorrow, at 7.30 EST for our Menial Monday shenanigans. We've been playing Core Keeper, which is a lot of fun with my friends Alien Norm and Gilded Horror. And then I stream solo on Thursdays at 7 p.m. EST, as you can see from the thing above. This hand, you know, from the thing above. Uh, I have been playing Lisa the Painful, which has been a weird experience, but we're we're trucking along in it, so we'll probably go back to it. No, I was half done. Gave him brand new seven <laughs> PS4. All right, not bad. So. With that in mind, thank you very much for fo watching, everybody. Please tag that follow button if you haven't yet. I am Cannon Man. Have a good night. We'll see you next time.